So today's ringing day for the tawny owl chicks. They're just less than a month old, so I'm heading up that tree to get them down. I've already checked to see if the parents are not in the nest, but I still need to wear protective headgear just in case they're nearby. The parents can be fiercely territorial. Right, I'm just going to get the chicks out now, one at a time. It's a big reach. <laughs> Right, so we've got both chicks in here. So this is Jean, she's gonna ring the chicks with us today. They're looking fabulous, really healthy. So uh, we're gonna ring them and then weigh them. So we're gonna start with this little noisy one. This one's Sage. There you are, Jean, there's the first one. They feel good, they feel good weight. Oh yeah, I think so. Look at that, clack, clack, clack. So they're both four weeks old, which is a good time to ring them because the legs are well grown and these rings will fit them now for the rest of their life. Right, so we'll give this one away, shall we? Yep. There we go. <laughs> 420. 420, so that's minus the bag, so it's uh, 375, yep. I think that one. Right, who's next? This one must be Bramble. Uh, but the BTO rung, so this is a British Trust for Ornithology ring. Um, and this ring specific, this size and this number is specific to this bird. So these are G rings, most owls are Gs. Um, lots of birds are prey Gs, that's the size. But the actual ring number is specific to this bird. So if it turns up anywhere again, we'll know where it was born, how old it is, um, and how it's fed really. Right, give that one away then, Jane. Is that a smaller one, do you think, this one? It looks it, but once you got it out at back, it didn't, you know, they looked fairly <laughs> similar, didn't they? Yeah. Oh. 450. 450, so that <laughs> one's heavier. Yeah. Yeah. So how much is that one, Andrew? 405 then, that 405, one. that's great. So just looking at the development on the feathers, this chick, which is the lighter chick, the first one we rang, is actually, uh, more developed in its feathers and the tail feathers and wing feathers when you get them together. So this is the heavier chick, but this is actually uh, the youngest chick as well. So maybe we've got um, a female and a male maybe, um, or one's just literally eating more. Uh, but it's good to see they're both a good weight, even though the male's not doing very well with bringing food. That seems to be my job nowadays. Uh, but they're looking great, so we're gonna get them back into the nest. Right, I'll get them back up there now. Carefully does it. And there's number two. There you go. So that's uh, the job done and they'll be fledging in the next week or two, so uh, we'll be keeping a close eye on them. You can see this process is quick and painless, so they don't seem too upset. And that night, Bonnie returns with some food for them. Over the years I've learned so much about each species and that's through the ringing process. All the data goes into a national BTO database which helps us protect these birds in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.